We can't take a trip to Daytona without stopping at the Speedway. So here we are, it's a dad and boys trip to the Daytona International Speedway. We're gonna try to get on the tour bus, see if we can catch a tour. Now you heard how loud those helicopters were. That's not even close to 40 race cars out here. Yeah. When those 40 race cars are on a track, it's very loud. The only way to communicate is to use what's called NASCAR enthusiasm. And that's pretty much screaming your brains out. So I got one question for you. To use that NASCAR enthusiasm on. Y'all ready for your tour? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to touch him now. As he said, he's not touch. Is that how loud the cars are? No, it's louder than that. I just wish they weren't that loud. This is what? Hey Luke, what'd you think? It was great! <laughs> Alright. Nathan, what do you think? Was well, pretty cool. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not much of a NASCAR fan, but man, going inside there, it was pretty incredible. This place was so huge. And uh, the thing I liked the most probably was inside, you could camp inside the racing circle. I'm sure everyone knows that. I think I knew that too. No, you didn't. I think I did because, and <laughs> the only no, thing, I, I get all of my racing like info from the Cars movies, right? So, when we're watching, when we're watching oh, lightning yeah. go around the circle, 
and the big motorhomes in there and he's like what did he say? I'm as big as Finn or something like that. Good job! <laughs> something like that. Anyway, <laughs> that's where I get my racing stuff from. Disney movies. We have to stop at the fortress if we go here. You know what we have to stop by? Where do we have to stop by? The fortress. We're going to visit the fort and uh, we're excited. Down Those English are pretty feisty dudes. Here in the fort, we forgot Lojo's shoes this morning. That's a bummer. We were watching a movie and she got a little sand. I don't know why. Why did you get sand? She's at that tired point of the morning. She doesn't really want to talk. Are you sad because you don't have any shoes? I'm sure we can find some shoes in town here. This is the powder room. There's, there's one of those balls. Oh yeah, it's pretty... Pretty light. It's pretty heavy. That's pretty cool. This is the powder room. For the six pound yeah. balls? Wow. wow. That's pretty good. That's a lot. Yeah. All right, ready? Hey, Nat, how did your junior ranger part go? Uh, fine. My handwriting's horrible because I can't read it. Well, of course, you broke your wrist, right? Yeah. Are you coming out? I'm yes, I'm coming out. Unless you want to do your junior ranger work in here, right? No. In the powder room? No. Put it in there. Hey, can you lift that up? Yeah. Can right you? Up? Yeah, I lifted it up. See if Mama can do it. Yeah, it just goes straight up. Oh. Wait, I want to try. Over your fingers, thanks. I think they designed it so that you can't. There you go. Wait, let me try. Here, Dad. Hold this. Oh, I can hold it. Yay. <laughs> So 
like we're too late. They already cleaned it out. What are those, what are those two balls right there? What are those? The bar shot and chain shot. Specifically made to fire at ships, an iron rod or a piece of chain hey, is welded Mom. between two solid shot. When fired, these spin and cut through ropes and sails. We were in the fort and we just thought to, we'd come out and take a little break, have a little snack. We can't eat inside the fort, so we'll eat outside the fort. Take a little walk. This place is pretty cool. The Spanish built it in um, the 1650s to protect their northernmost colony, which was Florida. And they say it's never been taken over. It's, they built it so well that it would absorb cannon fire really well and it would the walls were really high, they just couldn't get in it. So anytime it changed hands, it was peacefully. So Spanish changed it over to the British, and the British changed it over to the United States. And then after, and then, and then, it, hasn't, then it hasn't changed since. And then it hasn't changed since, yep. The United States has held it strong this whole time. Um, yeah. what, did you, what did you think? What was the coolest part so far? The cannons were pretty cool. When they fired them? Yeah, but it took them a long time to do it. Like, it's just like they have to do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, that, it, that's true. I mean, they had all of these steps they had to do, and they would stand and hold the stick up really high, and they said they just drilled and they tried, they did it every day to make sure, so when the fighting came, they knew exactly what to do. So this is just the start of the day, really. Start at the fort. There's a lot of history in this town, and I'm really excited to see all of the stuff that goes on here. Um, yeah. We forgot Lojo's shoes, so one thing we have to do is find some shoes for her to wear. But, but, so yeah, okay. maybe we should practice our drill every day. Do the steps, do them slow, so we make sure we have number one all the kids and all their stuff. That's very good, very nice work there, ladies. You are official. Coconut and mango gelato. Mm. It's good. I tried it. I would do dippin' dots. Pretty good. Exploring St. Augustine the best way, which is walking. Walking down the road, having a good time. What do you think, man? Oh, it's good. It's good? Yeah. We're, we're walking around St. Augustine, and uh, it's probably the thing to do. No, it's not the thing to do with kids, because they end up doing something like this. Dad, I'm tired. I can't walk anymore, so I gotta put him on my shoulders. It's been a couple years since I carried him any length of a distance. But well, he has actually carried me three miles once. Three miles, three miles. That was last year. So, and he just ate a bunch of pizza, so he's about a pound heavier than he was earlier. We'll see how we do. I ate two pizzas. You ate two pizzas? That's two pounds. Two pounds of pizza in that tum tum right there. <laughs> Are they with us? I don't know. 
Aw, oh, she was sleeping. Spawn forward. We're back at the campground. I'm here with Nat and Lojo. We're going for a walk. It's a nice evening and we thought we'd do a recap of St. Augustine. What do you think, Nat? What did you think? Um, um, I got stuffed. The pizza was good. It was pretty good. I had two like, big pieces. When we were done with the fort, it was kind of late. It was like 1, 2 o'clock. And we thought, well, I don't want to pay for the full day tram. So we thought we'd walk. It was a good exercise, you know, and there was a pizza place along the way, and we had some pizza. It was it was good. It was good pizza. I would say overall, I liked it. <laughs> overall, I liked the fort. I like going through it, and uh, but the rest of it, it was cool just to walk through like the the street where all the shops were, and kind of poke into all the shops and everything. But if you're going with just you and one other person, definitely you know check it out. Have your wallet ready though, because they'll get you. If you're going with a big family, check out the fort and then just kind of walk through things, get your ice cream like you normally do and everything. And uh, and you'll have a good time just seeing all the old buildings and everything. We're going to hang around here for a couple days, try to get some school work done, some regular work done, and then head up towards the panhandle and start making our way across the country. And we're, we're missing Lojo. All right, have a good night.